The birds sound nice today. <coughs> Ew! I'm like dozing off here. It's that breeze, man. I can't. I keep yawning. <sighs> Ugh. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the incredibly blurry world of Arma Armed Assault. Yes, there. This game, by the way, I downloaded from Steam. I paid for this game recently from Steam, and this is how it loads. It looks like utter garbage, incomplete trash. Now, this is actually this weird bug that exists in the game, and there is a way to fix it. But in order to fix it, you have to manually find the Arma EXE file, right click on it, and run it with your GPU graphics card. It doesn't detect it automatically. Like, I've never heard of this before. I don't know, I thought of cutting this out and just starting with the game working correctly. But I kind of figured that on this 1001 Games quest, it's as much a quest of trying to get these old games to work as it is to actually play them. So I thought it would be kind of funny to start off with this incredibly glitchy, yet... Look, look, look how bad this looks. Oh, God. This looks like the first computer CGI effects that I ever saw in, like, a movie or anything. This looks so terrible. This is actually kind of hilariously awesome. This is, <laughs> this is great. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. And here we are. Now the game is actually loading correctly. Again, it's not that hard of a fix, but, like, why on earth would they put this on Steam? And when you launch it from Steam, by the way, it goes into its super blurry mode. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense. We're going to uh, carry on just to uh, move past this. So, Arma is a military simulator. And it is, like, legitimately like a simulator. Like, you know, it, it actually, like, simulates what it's like to be in a war zone, essentially. To the point where, like, it's actually been adapted for military training, in uh, i think australia adapted it it's uh you know when we say simulator by the way basically what simulator means to me is it's gonna be very slow and intricate gameplay oh yeah look how much better this looks my god wow i, I can't even believe that the game can render itself in that previous version like it looked like a joke how bad it was before but like this is like looks like a normal game but yeah simulators to me whenever i hear about simulators i always think very slow gameplay like, I remember Microsoft Flight Simulator was the pinnacle of flight simulation back in the day. And it was just sort of a game where you sit down and you just have to fly straight for like an hour. Um, you know, like nowadays there's things like the truck simulator and stuff. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hop in here and see what this game is all about. So, I have never played this game before. I know it is intricate and complicated. We're going to do our best to see if we can not let the team down and uh, kill a few insurgents, I guess. I don't even know what the goal is. If this is really hardcore simulation, then maybe it is essentially me just, like, running supplies or, like, I don't know, sorting mail or something like that. I guess we should definitely try the tutorial here. Okay, so we have a bunch of different tutorials that we can try. There's an obstacle course. You'll learn how to deal with obstacles and improve your physical skills. So this is How to Crawl 101. Then there's a shooting course. You will learn how to successfully employ a variety of infantry weapons, which is the course I really care about. Leader course, you will learn the basics of commanding an infantry squad. I guess we probably are going to need this. There's some other courses here, like piloting a tank, a helicopter, and another helicopter. But you know what? If we ever, if we do play the game and we make it to a tank or a helicopter, we're just going to wing it. So we're going to go ahead and try the first three tutorials, and then we will try at least one or two missions. And I have a feeling we're not going to get too far in the game today, but I feel like the tutorials... You know, this is one game where, like, literally the tutorials will probably give us a feel for the game. Uh, because, again, it's all about simulation. It's all about knowing how to do stuff, how to be a soldier. Oh, look at this. Successfully finished infantry physical training. So all we have to do, here is our quest. Listen to your drill instructor until he tells you to proceed. I can do that. I can probably listen to what he has to say. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the obstacle course, troops. Thank you. Can we shoot him? To qualify, you Can we shoot? Get through the zigzag maze, run over the duckboard, crawl under the bar. He's not line, looking at me. Run through the hole, touch the barrel, and then run back to the finish in the quickest time you can manage. Okay. If any of you maggots can get through my obstacle course in record time, 
You'll stand a chance of receiving an A qualification. You may negotiate the obstacle course once without being what? timed. What? Oh, okay. So there are other maggots. Feel for it. Go, go, go. Press 2XW plus movement to sprint. Press page down to toggle prone, page up to toggle standing. Okay. Got this. Through the maze. So, we're running through Quick the maze. Like a bunny, maggot. Quick like a bunny. Oh, Get double tap W to run. Wire. Okay, now we have to go down. Boy, page down is like an awkward key to select to, to go page down. So I guess we should be using both hands Ball on through. the keyboard. Okay, go up. Run. Touch he wants me barrel. to touch the barrel. Now, I got it. Finish. Now to the finish. Where's that? Oh, is it over here? All right. All right, I successfully ran your little course, dude. I guess you should not call your drill instructor dude. Cross the line. Is that good? Outstanding, soldier. You are A qualified and you made me proud. Yes. Okay. I'm a badass. Again for better time or you can let some other maggot show what they can do. Nah, I got the gist of it, chief. Um leave the training area. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay, now that we're in the course many times you want, it's just like leave course. Or walk away with the end of the mission, you will achieve. Okay, let's just... All right, thanks for the training, buddy. We're just going to walk away here. And boom. All right, so that was not as difficult as I thought. I was kind of intimidated by this game because I've seen people play it online. I know there's tons of buttons and commands. So I definitely knew I was going to have to go through the training to make sure I didn't screw up this video today, guys. But all right, we qualified. We got an A. I made it. I'm qualified A, perhaps... I will be recon or SF. Now I'm on the way to my weapons. All right, let's go ahead and learn how to fire a gun. Let's do it. Infantry marksmanship. Successfully finish weapon qualification. Expert marksman rifle qualification required to unlock sniper course in lane six. Woo. Listen to your drill instructor until he tells you to proceed. Qualify with the rifle in lane one, two, three, four, and five. All right. I will bite. You have some fun, so look, he's like not making eye contact with me. It's time to get qualified with we look up weapons. at him. Look, he's. You're only required to <laughs> this is an awkward the M16 conversation. <laughs> in the first lane from the left, but it is also recommended that you familiarize yourself with the M249 squad up. automatic weapon in lane two. Or crawl the away M203 meekly. Grenade stand launcher stand in lane up. Three, the M9 there we go. Automatic pistol in lane four. And that you practice throwing a few fragmentation grenades in lane five. Okay, hot shot. Grab the M16 in lane one and show me what you can do. I like how there's all this optional stuff the in the army. They're like, we want you to train with the M16. Bags. And if you have enough time, it would be cool if you could train with some other stuff. But we're really, we're, we're not the kind of organization that tells you exactly what to do. And so we'll just leave that up to your own best decisions. Press R to reload. F to select mode of fire. V or zero num or second mouse button to toggle optics primary to fire. Okay, R to reload, F is to let select the mode of fire. And it into the right. down range to get Wait, how do I get out of Oh there we go. Alright, let's like zoom in here. Oh wait, and then we gotta reload. Alright. Now we can Ah, oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That's not too hard. Okay, so all you have to do you right click to like toggle the this thing off and on and then once you have once you have it up you can like hold right click to actually like look down the sights all right so again not too bad i thought it was gonna be a lot harder than this Did we get it oh yeah look at that we've, we've got distance shots on us people what's uh hold on f is to toggle fire mode oh we have semi let's go there's burst interesting Yes, okay, hold on. And we got semi. Let's see what semi is here. Okay. There's no there's no full automatic. Can we where where's our, our chief dude? Let, let us do this, I wonder. Let's do a headshot on him. Cease fire! Oh he, we did we totally killed him. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we might have failed our training exercise. <laughs> on the way to jail for violating safety rules. Oh man, it's like Monopoly, there's a jail. Well, we found a way to fail a training mission by kill. It turns out killing your instructor is the quickest way to jail in the army. 
I, it, I guess it is. It's a simulation, so of course they were going to allow you to now do that. Have some fun, soldier. Now, we, we had too much fun okay, last time, shot. Chief. We might have accidentally one. killed you in a, in a parallel dimension. So this time we're, we're just going to, this time, behave ourselves. Okay, reloading your magazine. All right. So these simulator-type games are... I think different from other types of video games, like in my opinion. Like again, when I first loaded up this game, I was talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I said that that game always stood out to me as like a very unique flying game because it wasn't like arcade flying games or like NES ones where it was like just about, you know, being, it didn't have to be realistic, but it was about just, you know, like maximizing the sort of fun gameplay. I've always found like simulators are more about while simulating, you know, like immersing you in an activity, making you feel like you're really there. And in doing so, I feel like they sacrifice... Modify, you must hit at least 15 targets out of 30. If you manage to oh, hit geez. 20 or more, or 25 or more, you will be awarded the corresponding higher qualifications. You will have exactly 30 rounds of ammunition and 5 seconds per target. So aim well. Reload your weapon. Shooter, cover your arcs. Okay, you want me to shoot a specific number of things here? I can do this. One. Two. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. Boy, this is actually pretty tedious. So as I was just saying, these simulators, they sacrifice sort of really quick and engaging gameplay. And they go for this, like, slow but realistic stuff. And it kind of strikes me that, like, video games as a whole, like, what they do, their whole thing, is that they're, like, a, they're a way to simulate reality, but they're, they're a way to sort of cut away, you know, separate the wheat from the chaff. Like, what's the bad stuff? The chaff? So video games separate out the chaff, and they leave you with just the wheat. And simulators actually bring in some of the chaff. So they bring in like long, like, okay, that trucking simulator game that I know exists out there that uh, was pretty big on Steam for a while. Like, that's a game where people could literally sit down and just play for like hours and hours just driving around roads. And like, if somebody came up to you and was like, do you want to go on like an eight hour road trip for no reason? You'd probably say no. But weirdly, in the context, if it's in a video game, all of a sudden people are like kind of interested in doing it. It's like they get to like live out a fantasy of like being a trucker, which is what? Not qualified. I totally qualified. You may try again. All right, to hell with this. We are aborting our training. We're taking the route of young Luke Skywalker. We're leaving Dagobah untrained. We're going to face Vader. But first, we're going to take the leader course because we just need to know what the commands are. I fig I can figure out weapons, guys. I've shot a gun or two in my time. But yeah, simulators are this interesting thing where they, they really slow down the gameplay. And again, they do it in service of enhancing the immersion. And so I think simulator games feel like a different niche than, uh, you know, other more common types of video games because they're not necessarily about intense action. They're more about making you feel like you're actually there. Which is kind of interesting. It's not the type of game I've gone for traditionally, but I do appreciate that uh, it can be like engrossing in a weird way. To the point where like you might want to drive a truck across the country for no reason, just because it's in a video game. Anyway, board striker APC with your squad, disembark from the APC, chain formation to line, move to a waypoint, destroy the target. Um, okay, let's give it a try. Welcome to the infantry squad leader course. I, I feel very happy that you guys have you trusted me give with the... Oh, did, are you white now? Basic squad you were, you were black before. How did you turn white? With other armed units. Squad, it's your voice. Join your leader. Oh, I, one. I'm confused. Right. But, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very Everything humbled that you, you're trusting me with a squad. I know squad I've disappointed you in the past, board. but things your are about to change. Trust me. Is to board the APC behind me with your squad. Just call the whole squad and point to the vehicle. As squad leader, you will board last to make sure everybody is aboard. Okay. So, uh, how do I call them? That's the... That, that, that's the real mystery. Okay, I'm, I'm in. Anyone else want to come? Squad, come with me. Oh, press that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Move 
to next waypoint. Team right. Move to zero, three, one. <laughs> I'm like in the APC giving commands. I just hear them outside. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I, I gotta get out of this. Medic, Echo. travel. Six, no, three. no, no, medic. Let me, let me out. Okay, hold on. Where, where is everyone going? Okay, hold on. Target. No oh, target. no target. Uh. How about mount? Mount the striker. Uh, All anywhere. Board. That. Striker. Roger. Yeah, there we go. I like how my guy talks like a robot. All board the striker. There we go. Yes, they're getting in. They listen to me. All right, we can we can totally command a squad, man. Hey, look, and here's our squad. One, seven, seven. Did you guys pass the weapons training? Because let me tell you, I failed that a couple of times. Hardcore. They're ignoring me. Except that guy. He gave me a little bit of a smile. Oh, <laughs> now he's like ashamed to look at me. All right. Oh God. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Man, don't eyeball me, son. I will I will send you on a suicide mission, is what I will do. This is uh, turning into the most awkward car ride ever. What happens if you just, like, straight up bail? Can I just bail? Oh, no, but I can look at my weapons. All right, so here, I'm just going to examine my guns here. Here's my M4 carb carbine, a shortened version of the M16. Gotcha, my M9. Close, all right. All right, squad... Uh, mount oh, disembark. disembark. All right. Let's see, how do I how do I get out? Okay, there we go. One out of ammo. All right, we were driven to a place. I think they're dumping us in the desert. They're lassieing us, guys. They're like, you guys go on to greener pastures. We'll be right here. And when we turn around, the APC is gonna be gone. What the heck? Okay, there's a target down range. Oh, this is a different commander. Look at it to be sure. I was gonna say What's his skin color is highly inconsistent. Change your squad's formation to line. This formation is ideal for engaging targets that are directly to your front. Make sure your squad follows you. Move to a waypoint in the direction of the target to ensure that no friendly unit, including myself, will be endangered by your squad's fire. <laughs> Who have you been talking to? Who have you been talking to? All right, we're in a line, and we're going to move, and we are going to advance. Oh, advance. You guys know where to go? Okay, good, because I will follow you. I do not know where we're going. They didn't tell me anything. In fact, I just installed Arma the other day, guys. I don't know how long you guys have been here, but I am totally new to this whole war thing. If you guys want to just really take take command, I will allow that to happen. I might need to reload my gun. I do not seem to be able to fire. I don't know why. Are your guys' guns working? Because mine is definitely not... So here I am just running through the desert with my squad in real time. We have, okay, if we look down at the bottom, there's a bunch of people. We have a medic. We have one medic, then we have me. Can I like switch to people? Oh, I can like command certain people. Oh, interesting. Cool. So this game is kind of like a mix of, what would you call it a mix of? It's like a mix of a shooter, obviously, and like... Almost like a real-time strategy game. Oh, I'm stuck in a bush. I, I am like the worst commander ever. It does kind of change the stakes. Because like when, when we're playing like games like Command & Conquer or StarCraft, it's like we don't really care about individual soldiers because we're like a commander sitting up, you know, like on high. And if the squad gets killed, like what the hell does it matter? But here, it's like if the squad goes down, I'm going down too. So I have more of, a, more of an interest in keeping these guys alive. I don't understand where they're going. Is one that's one of the big problems that we've got here? What is this? Everybody. Now order your soldiers to target the vehicle. Okay. Well, I guess whatever we did was correct. Select your squad and select target and choose more and then car. Okay. Target. More. Choose the car at two o'clock. Oh, target. Sure they have the correct target before you give the order to fire. Oh, when I'm just gonna ready, give order the order to fire. Order to fire on the target until it's destroyed. What did this car ever do to us is what I want One, to know. out of ammo. What? How, how, how am I out of ammo? Can somebody give me some ammo? And also, where's this car? How do you guys know where everything is? Is there a mini-map they didn't share with me? Man, my squad seems to really know what's going on. I'm running sideways. Look at this. Look, I can run backwards. 
You guys like this? Wait, I can't run backwards. I can walk backwards. Or I can run sideways. Running sideways in full military gear would be hard. Oh, I just ran through a bush. Guys, is there anything else to do? Or is this like a car shooting operation? Also, where is the car? So confused. Isn't it like way back there? Like, am I mistaken? Guys, where, where are y'all going? I'm pretty sure that that's the car. Like 233 things away from us. Target the car at 11 o'clock. No? Just me then? Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I don't believe the car is on the other side of that random fence. I've gone rogue, guys. Leave my squad for dead. <laughs> so it turns out that I'm being trained horribly in the army here. Now, uh, I think, though, we're, we're figuring out enough of the mechanics that we can at least go in and mess around. Where am I? I'm running towards the target, you idiots! That we can at least go ahead and mess around in some of the levels here. Oh, wait, there is no car here. Huh. Alright, I, I, I am confused. Oh, wait, there's the car! Look! Oh, wait, there's the car. So what is that? Alright, enough of this. Okay, finally we got to the car, and they're targeting it. So I don't know why they're running over there. But anyway, game like Armor here... Um, it is a game of patience. Wait, where are they going? No, tar tar target the car! Target the car! Get your butts over here! And <laughs> target the car! Give me some ammo. How do we do that? Wait, you just walked right past the car. Alright, I command you... One, out of ammo. ...to salute me. They didn't salute me. How about go oh, prone? Get down. Everyone get down! Get on your bellies! Oh, here we go. Open fire. No? Just straight up gonna ignore that order. You serious? Let's try this again. Oh, fire. fire! Oh, they're doing it! Oh, they killed the car! We just figured it out! <laughs> What? Safety rules? Nobody told me about safety rules. You will need to employ how did your somebody get radio to attacked? Do I like how the guy's still like giving me a uh, orders as I'm being taken away to jail. The radio. Oh wait, they, I guess they had second thoughts with the whole jail thing. They're like, you know what? One dead soldier during a training exercise. What's the harm in that? And that guy got shot in the leg? Boy, I thought you guys knew what you were doing. Turns out, you're just as clueless as me. Okay, well you know what? We've gotten enough people killed in the training courses. Let's go get people killed in an actual war. People are going to die under my command. There might as well be real stakes. Training is a crappy reason to die. All right, let's go ahead and give a mission a shot here. We have training missions. No thanks. You're an operative behind enemy lines and enemy supply convoys headed for base. Ensure that it never arrives. I feel like that's going to require a lot of coordination. I want something where I have to go in and kill people. Preparing to cleanse an area of unwelcome SLA occupants. You're on one of those highly trained... Ooh, okay. Sanit, I like that. I want something where I can just go and kill a bunch of uh, uh, bad guys. So let's go with this. Give it a shot here. Clear the area. Be swift, silent, and deadly. You'll start at XY. Bravo Squad will attack from the side. Eliminate all em enemy infantry and... In Presence in the area. Proceed to the extraction point. Got it, Chief. I will net not let you down. Oh, why did you guys all get down immediately? No one is to leave her alive. Let's kill them all. Jeez, that guy means business. And he's just running off by himself. Oh, okay. And I don't. I can't command anyone. This is actually good. I should not be in command of anyone. I'm gonna stick near you guys. We have a saboteur. A couple of saboteurs. All right. Let's see here. Where's the enemy, guys? What do you think? Oh, we got some, like, action music here. I thought this was a simulator. I did not think things would be this action-packed. It's turning into an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie. So, of course, with Armor here, one of the most famous mods that it ever got was something called DayZ. You've never heard of DayZ. It is basically a mod here for Arma that turned it into a zombie survival game, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily play like an, a military simulator myself, although this isn't that bad. It seems like a more of like a thinking man's version of like Call of Duty. 
So maybe I would actually play this. I don't want to say never. Um, but, like, adding zombies into this definitely seems like it would... Oh, shoot, are those bad guys? Or are those dead bodies? One or the other. <laughs> but adding zombies into this definitely definitely seems like it would make it uh, more interesting. Uh, definitely seems like it would make it more in my style. Now, the interesting thing about DayZ, of course, is that the zombies are actually... Damn, somebody got killed. The zombies are actually not the biggest threat in DayZ. Every oh, single injured. gameplay video I've ever seen of DayZ is basically somebody spawns, and when you spawn, you have nothing. You have to find, like, guns and, and weapons and stuff, and guns are really hard to find, and ammo is really scarce. So it's like somebody spawns, they encounter another person who has a gun, that person holds them at gunpoint, robs them, handcuffs them, basically, like, Look, leaves them down. for dead. Oh, there's a guy over there. There's totally a guy over there. I should not be out in the open. This is a military simulator. I need cover. I think my whole squad just kind of got wiped out when I was telling you guys about Daisy there. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't even know where that was coming from. A man's dying is more of the survivor's affair than his own. Can we get a kill cam so I could at least see? My God, they wiped us all out. Okay. This time around... <laughs> you know what, Chief? I just don't want me to get killed. Forget about killing them. I, I don't want to die. Turns out they're really good at killing, and I'm not as good as I hoped I was. At 11 o'clock, man. At 100 meters. We're sneaking through the apple orchard here. At 1 o'clock, enemy, ground. man. At 100 meters. I'm going to try and, like, offer supportive fire or whatever my allies. Okay, we died around here last time. If I get, like, up on top of the building, that would actually be really convenient. Oh my god, I'm... What? How the hell did I die? War is a game that is played with a smile. If you can't smile, grin. If you can't grin, keep out of the way until you can. Um, hey, you can team switch. Oh, I'm the group leader? That is, that, I should not be that. Okay, I'll be this. I'll be just a random dude. I am giving up my command. I've realized I'm terrible at it. I just want to be, uh... Just want to be helping the good guys, is all. That'd be cool if you could, like, switch to the bad guys team. It's like, all right, fine. Be like Counter-Strike. Be like, terrorists win. And you're like, all right, we're fine. I'm going to be a terrorist. Okay, here's what we're doing this time. This time, we're getting on our belly like a snake in the grass. Because last time I got killed... He must have been, like, over there somewhere. So this time... So this is a military simulator. You can't just, like, run out into the battle all willy-nilly. That looks like a bad Enemy. guy. 50 meters. Damn, four. It's down. Come on, you son of a... Ah. Yeah, we got him! Man, it's history! It's history! All right, we got one bad guy. Turns out being a snake in the grass has its advantages. It's the, this is not the samurai way. This is the most dishonorable way. But it is the way that you need to uh, need to play the game. Oh, is that guy? Enemy. Machine gunner at 100 meters. Oh my god. Just kill him. I think we got him. I got two guys. All right, I guess got to take your time. This is, like, totally different than, like, Call of Duty or, like, Halo or anything like that. It's all about being, like, sneaky. And, like, I, I really wish I had, like, some kind of mini-map. I bet soldiers in real life wish they had a mini-map because, like, my god. Like, I don't know where anyone is. It's actually, like, pretty terrifying. Like, I could die at any moment. This sucks. Just gonna, like, crawl around here. If you actually were just walking around town and you saw someone, like, crawling in the grass with full military garb, that'd be terrifying. All my buddies are doing stuff. I hear them having a conversation over there, but... I don't see anyone else. Alright, guys. I got this patch of grass. I got this covered. Oh, is that a good guy or a bad guy? That's a good guy. Okay, I will... If you die, I will shoot the guy who shoots you. That's how we're going to play this. SF Saboteur. Crawl over here to help you. 
just like taking my time. <laughs> this is what I would do if I was really in, in battle. I would crawl everywhere out of absolute fear of being gunned down. They're like, it's clear. I'm like, it's not clear enough. This is going to spend the whole war on my belly. All right, fine. I'll get up. Is there someone over there? Do you see someone? Come on, let me get over here. Is there anyone down there? How do you guys know where to go? Where are we going? I'm gonna follow this guy. He seems to know what's up. Was there a mission briefing I skipped? He's not talking to me. Nobody wants to talk to me in this game. Oh, there's a dead guy over here. Did you kill him or did... Did someone we know kill him or is he just... Dead? Huh? Well, let's take his ammo. Let's loot the body. Got an AK-47. Why the heck not? Oh wait, there's a machine gunner and stuff. Stuff is happening. Targets, targets. Oh, maybe this is where we have to go? Oh shoot. Oh Nine shoot, that's a guy. At 50 meters. That's a guy, that's a guy. Oh my god, get, get on your belly, get on your belly! Meters. He's like right on the other side of this thing here. I saw him crawling away. Aw, oh, damn it! Oh, dude, there was a guy there! Wars have never hurt anybody except the people who die. That's true. All right, well, we have successfully gotten ourselves killed in some urban environments. Let's see what the other... Let's try one more mission here. We have no time. Uh, soldier, take back the vehicle. Gunship. Take to the skies. Uh, we were never trained in a helicopter. That could be all kinds of horrible. Maybe we'll try, maybe we'll try that at the very end. Hold on. Large offensive. Uh, let's try this. A large offensive. I like the sound of that. Maybe there'll be a lot of guys on our team. We can kind of get lost in the mix and, uh, you know, uh, not get killed because there's too many friendly. Ooh, and look, there's a big tank. Hope that tank's on our side. I will take it. It's a tank just enjoying a beautiful sunset in a flowery meadow. This is uh, the tank of a poet. Uh oh, I think it's about to get destroyed. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if that was our t our team or the other team, but somebody's tank upload up. We're getting like a whole little like action montage here. Now like a plane with bombs preparing to take to the sky, Top Gun style. Hope Tom Cruise is flying that one. Those are A-10 Warthogs. I know that from my years of playing Command and Conquer. Or at least I think they are. They totally might not be. But I think they're A-10 Warthogs. They have a minigun at the front and dual engines on the fuselage or whatever. I don't know. Did we skip this, by the way? I think I skipped it. All right. So uh, support the ground troops as they break through the front line. Support the ground. Uh-oh, wait. Me? I thought I was a ground troop. And I had to support. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, well, we all knew it would come to this eventually. They were going to ask old Gaming J to fly a plane. And uh, let's just say that he, uh, he was never trained in this. Oh, there's a lot of buttons. There's a lot of buttons. Oh, I think I just shot my own plane. I think I, I just killed my, my own ally. Flaps down, engine on. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I think my plane is like erupting in flames. Okay, let's try the convoy ambush. Let's let's end on the convoy ambush. We uh, we bailed out of our warthog and just ran into a different squad and pretended that we were always part of the SF saboteur uh, crew. Destroy the convoy, which is moving along the road. Once you've completed the mission, head for the extraction point. Roger, Roger. All right, is there anyone with me? Or is it just me? Holy shit, it's just me. This this is terrible. I I I I'm not prepared for this. We are seeing some very nice mountainous terrains here. Oh look, there's like a house. I wonder if we could actually go into that house. I'm not gonna try. But I I don't have a good feeling about this. Let's just see what we can do with this. At least we know where the enemy is. I think. They're gonna be moving along this road. Do I have any other weapons or anything? Oh, I have a uh, I have a bazooka. I will take that or a rocket launcher. 
What is the difference between a bazooka and a rocket launcher, I wonder? Alright, we're gonna do this. This is gonna be like pure action hero style. I'm just gonna be sitting in the middle of the road with a bazooka and they're gonna turn the corner. And they'll be like, la, And I'll be like, see you in hell. I know, I need a better, we need to, we need to brainstorm one-liners here. We need like a really good one-liner. Like, uh, don't blow the deal. Now that one sucks too. We can do better than this. All right, <laughs> this, uh, this could either go really good for us or really bad for us. Or maybe the convoy is not even going to come along this road. I've been waiting here an awfully long time. It would help if I knew what direction the convoy was coming from. But I'm just waiting here. <sighs> oh, it's, it's taking a long time. I guess I could check my phone. See if like I have any new emails or... I'm like actually checking my emails on my phone as I wait here. I'm, like just sort of casually looking out to see if this convoy is coming. I assume I'll hear it. <sighs> Am I even at the right road? <clears throat> um. Oh shoot. Oh is that them? Oh my god it is them. Oh my god, I didn't even have time to reload. Oh, I waited on that road for so long and I just ended it <laughs> A bloody smear. Some that deserve life. You, this is the guy who killed me. Oh, and him. And Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're going to try that one more time here. Oh man, that sucked. Okay, obviously I need a better vantage point. This isn't just like a thinking man's Call of Duty. This is like a really, really slow thinking man's kind of game just in the sense of like like they really went th this is a simulator this is like up there with microsoft flight simulator like in the same way that microsoft flight simulator could take you like hours to fly to different locations this game they want you to take your time all right we're gonna we got a new strategy we are going to get up here in some cover oh yeah this is a much better place to be and we will kneel down. In fact, we're gonna, gonna get on our bellies. The thing is, we want to be in covers and we want them to be like out in the open. This is maybe better. All right, I'm, I'm taking a chance here. It might end the exact same way. Can I fire a bazooka on my belly? Is that possible? Maybe you can't fire a bazooka on your belly. I've never seen them do that in movies. It seems like it'd be very dangerous. All right. Well, this is about as protected as we're going to get. Ooh, a bird sound nice today. I wonder what's planned for the rest of day at Army. If we have, like, anyone's birthday, if there's going to be, like, a cake this afternoon or something. Be nice. It'll be, like, a good way to break up the day. You know, your whole day we killed cowboys. <sighs> it's just too much killing. You need to mix it up. <clears throat> I'm like dozing off here. It's that breeze, man. I can't. I keep yawning. <sighs> oh, I think I hear him. Oh shit! That that's them. Okay, line up. Boom! All right, now back up. Reload. They have no idea where that came from. Oh shoot, there's a guy there. There's a couple of guys there. Oh my God. Switch to my gun. I could actually do this mission. Okay, here we go. Oh shoot, they're running away. Where were they? No! Get back here! Oh, damn, there's another thing. Alright, this could be suicide, but... Okay, use my two bazooka bullets. I just want to kill one dude. 
like a guy right in there. Oh my god! Damn it! I couldn't even get away! There's a leaf in my way! Oh god, alright, well I killed two trucks. I don't have another 24 minutes and 36 seconds to wait for the next convoy. C.S. Lewis, they have such random quotes. Oh, it was so frustrating. I saw the guy there, and I'm like struggling to press the buttons to pull my gun out. By the time I got it out, they had like bolted down the road. Damn it, you gotta be way more prepared in this game. Arma! Armed Assault is one of the games in the book 1001 video games you must play before you die. And I, like, you might think that after my little playthrough here today, I might say, you know, this is a game that you should skip and blah, blah. Oh, they like ran over trees. But like, honestly, it is like weirdly kind of fun. I think if I got spent the time to get better at this, this could actually be like a pretty fun game. It is slow, guys. If you are going to check this game out, recognize that it is slow. It is a true simulator. Uh, maybe, like, I was setting up at the wrong point in the road. I should have, like, ran and met the convoy halfway. And, you know, like, maybe I was just doing that level a little foolishly. But all the levels feel very slow. But it is, like, a very interesting... It is a different kind of combat compared to something like Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty and Halo, you're, like, running around shooting people. Even though, like, in Call of Duty, it's, like, one hit will kill you almost. There's still, like, a lot of running around and stuff. This is much more, like... It feels like a game of chess. It feels like a tactical game of chess. We didn't really see the vehicles all that much, but I imagine those can be quite fun. So, ultimately, like... I, it's kind of cool that Arma here is like a very different kind of shooter than something like Call of Duty or Halo. And so I can totally see why when this game came out, it kind of blew people's minds a little bit. So like, is this a game that you must play before you die? I don't think it's a must play necessarily because it's definitely not going to appeal to a number of people for a variety of reasons. But I could definitely see this being a nice change of pace for people who like shooters, especially maybe if you're interested in military shooters. So yeah, I... I uh, you know, even though I may not really get into this game all that much myself, I kind of felt like there was something there, and I could kind of see it. And if I had more time, maybe, um, or I was really in intrigued by this sort of uh, more tactical combat, uh, which I kind of am, um, I could see this being quite interesting. So yeah, those are my opinions. What do you guys think of Arma here? Is it a game that you've played before? Is it a game that you enjoy? And what do you think of simulators in general? Like truck simulator, flight simulator, military simulator? You know, are simulators your thing? Or are they just too, like, intricate and detailed to, uh, for you to give a... To, to try out? I mean, I will admit, I find simulators to be a little more intricate than, like, I'm interested in. So I don't typically gravitate towards them. But that doesn't mean I can't appreciate them. Um, and I have played a few simulators back in my day. Like, Mech Warrior 2 is arguably a simulator, and I freaking love that game. So, you know, teach their own. Teach their own, guys. Um, until next time, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed whatever you th think of Arma. I hope you've enjoyed checking it out with me. Um, and until next time, you guys all take care of yourselves. And uh, pro tip, if you are going to ambush a convoy, make sure to bring a crossword puzzle or your phone, because you will need something to keep yourself entertained in that, uh, in that extended waiting period. We're just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, peace. Hey, look at this. There's like a whole like map editor. You can go in and edit stuff. I mean, I guess, as I say, this game was modded into DayZ. So you can go ahead, and this game is really open to mods and stuff like that. Triggers. Huh. I don't know how to do anything. Everything I, I click on doesn't seem to do anything, but that's pretty cool. I also like how this mini-map is, like, legitimately it looks like a real map. That's actually pretty cool. This is a pretty neat game, I would say. Pretty neat game. If I'd had this when I was younger, who knows what would have happened. Maybe it'd be an Arma buff. Also, is Arma a thing? It kind of strikes me that they wanted to call it Army, but they couldn't get the rights, so they just went with Arma. Arma is like the off-brand Army. It's the kind of army that would take me into it, and uh, let me tell you, that's not the kind of army you want to be affiliated with. Oh, look, there's like other towns and stuff. Huh. Cool.